Mm. See, and that's what uh, <laughs> Satan did visit Joseph. That's, that's, that is something that we right believe. before the first vision, right? right yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, got is him. that is something we believe. You're right about that. We didn't agree on who was going to start this. No, we didn't. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Saints Unscripted. Yes. With me, Taylor, and David. Yes, we're yes. here. It's been a while since I've been on just like a... I know. I feel, Without a guest. Right. Just hosts. We've had a lot of guests on the show. Yeah. It's, it's been great. Thing. Yeah, that's a really good but thing. But it's less stressful when it's just, you know, us yeah, hosts. We're allowed to, you know, lay back a little bit. We don't have to pretend to be <laughs> smart and stuff. Okay, so... We have papers. We do. That have comments on them. We're responding to comments today, as you probably saw in the title of this video. Um, I have not looked at any of these. Neither have I. These comments are all from both Facebook and YouTube. But only for Faith and Beliefs episodes. Right. Right? Yes. Yeah, rap. Right. Which is the segment of the show that you just see my face on it's, all the time. It's the alone. David Show. Welcome. It's the David Show. It's the David <laughs> show, yes. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Poor Taylor has to edit those videos, so he's just like constantly looking at my face. All day long. All the time. Day. I feel so bad. I try to him. cover it up as much as possible. <laughs> One could argue that it is my job to think of ways to cover up David's face. You do a great job with it. It works out. Anyway, so these comments are from that uh, segment of the show, and uh, I guess we're going to react to them or respond, respond. to them. Respond, yeah. Sometimes the comments are, are rude, sometimes they're not, sometimes they're just fun, sometimes... I don't know. I, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I love these types of episodes. They're always interesting. They are. Do you want to start with one? <laughs> sure. I'm just going to read the first one here on page... on the Yeah, the first one available here. This comes from our Facebook video, uh, Angel Moroni or the Angel Nephi. Uh, so this is a guy named Ron. He says, I really think that your face coat is taking shape very nicely. This is Elder Hyler at Anchorage, Alaska. Oh, he's a missionary. Oh. Sorry, Elder. See, <laughs> I would understand wrong. if I was an elder too, like somebody's beard would stand out to me. That's something cause... that you notice because you're not allowed to have it. Yeah. Well, thank you, Elder. That's, that's very kind of you. Uh, elder Hyler at Anchorage, Alaska. USA, baby. I, I served a mission and went to BYU, oh, well. so I went a long time without being able to... But, have this. But here he says, this is interesting, he says, I've been growing my beard for approximately three years <laughs> with an occasional trim to remove the split ends to give it shape and not look like a wino. <laughs> a wino? As, a wino? Wino? As my loving <laughs> eternal companion states. Oh, he must be a senior missionary or something. No. Oh, keep, that could be. Keep up the good work. I really think, even you, think each of you is the bomb. Wait, but From if a 70 year old fart. <laughs> If he's there a you senior missionary, he can't have a beard either, right? Uh, apparently he can because he's been doing it for three years. How do you know he's a missionary? He says Elder Hyler. This is Elder Hi Maybe. Wow. I'm baffled. I know. I didn't know that was allowed. Maybe he's a Community of Christ missionary or something. I don't know what their rules are. I, I don't, don't know if they so. have missionaries. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, Sounds either way, like... thank you, yeah. Elder Hyler. Okay. Let's go with whatever comes next. Okay. This is from Tom, also on the same video. Um, about the angel Moroni. I no longer believe in the truth claims of the church. That said, I believe this is a good video and a perfect explanation for the whole angel Nephi slash Moroni mix-up. Nicely done. Well, thank you, Tom. See, and that's the thing about that topic specifically. Some topics, like, there's a lot of ambiguity in the gospel, right? And yeah. I think that's on purpose. Especially like, in to, history. Yeah, well, I think in the gospel, like, I think God wants you to make a choice, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he doesn't want you to be forced academically in either direction. So there are a lot of topics where there's ambiguity and you simply, you need to choose what you're going to believe, right? But with, with this topic, which with the angel Nephi and the angel Moroni thing, like there's such a good paper trail that when I, when I discovered this topic, I was like, really? Like, why, why is this a problem? Uh, why is this, why is this a problem? So I'm glad that even, even though he does not accept the truth claims of the church, he recognizes that this really isn't an issue. It, it's, yeah, it's a complete non-issue. Once you actually get the paper trail in front of you, like anyone would be like, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. yeah. You can that's, still believe or not believe in the truth claims of the church, but that issue is, yeah. But, but you know, that's, some, that's something that generally speaking, you're pretty good at doing with the faith and belief segment is just kind of 
here's the facts and you guys can, you know, decide whatever you want, come to your own conclusions. And that's the really cool thing about faith and mm -hmm. beliefs is that you present everything with a lot of fairness. And I think we get this response from a lot of people who, uh, who disbelieve in the truth claims of the church, who mm -hmm. disagree. Um, a lot of people can come to the, to the show and say, you know what, you, you did a fair presentation of this and I respect that. And that actually happens a lot more often than you would think, which is really cool. I appreciate that. And obviously I am biased because I'm a member of the church, but I do hope to be able to, you know, be somewhat fair because I believe you're going to heaven either way. I mean, three kingdoms of glory, one of the benefits of that. But anyways, all right, let's, let's go to the next one. All right, the next one comes from Susan. False Mormon religion is false, period. That was all capitals. Uh, somebody asked and said, how have you come to the conclusion that it's false? And she just says, Jesus, oh. in more capitals. And what did he have to say on the matter? Read and study the Bible and pray for his wisdom. Oh, uh, we get those a lot. Yeah. We get those That's a lot. That's interesting. I don't think Jesus ever said anything about Mormon religion in the Bible, necessarily, but... It's going to trigger some people. These mutations manifest at puberty and are often triggered by periods of heightened emotional stress. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, this Agree is... to disagree, Susan. <laughs> oh, great. This is from Brother D. He said, the only thing that visited Joseph Smith was Satan. Yeah. Hmm. See, and that's what... Uh, <laughs> he, wow. Satan did visit Joseph. That's, that's, that is something that we... Right we, before the first vision, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got so him. Got that is something we believe. You're <laughs> right about that. But. Let's just assume he's referring to that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry. I don't even want to respond to that one. We've got other ones to respond to. Yeah, we've got better things to talk about. The editing on... This comes from David P. The editing on the Faith and Beliefs episodes is excellent. I'm consistently impressed. Very good production quality. Thank you. I, respect, I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> we've always... been doing this for a couple of years now. Yeah. Since and, uh, 2019. It's been fun to see your how the early episodes are so different from the later episodes. Yeah. The early episodes are still great, but you've come a long way. In, in terms of editing, I, I did make a lot of progress. I, I cringe sometimes watching the older ones, <laughs> <laughs> which is nothing to say about your, your writing ability. The content of it is still excellent. But All right, Michael. Mistakes, misprints, misinterpretations, speaking as a man or speaking as a prophet. Yep, must be God's one true church. Ah, the sarcasm. I love sarcasm. I, for one, am very grateful to have been here. From Punxsutawney, this is Phil Connors. So long. Okay, you want to try it again without the sarcasm? That's the thing is, you know, when you're dealing with humans, I don't know how you're going to avoid mistakes, misprints, misinterpretations, and people speaking as... Man, it, I know it, it happens. It is weird how often people say things like, "Oh, you know, nobody's perfect," but then expect perfection. Nobody's perfect, right? Did you just have a stroke, Pam? It's nobody's perfect. Yeah, you know, it's unfortunate. We've done lots of episodes about that, and I'm sure there will be more. But yeah, I think this comes from a fundamental um, misunderstanding of what a prophet is and and what a prophet isn't. But again. Everyone has to make their own choice, and you have to determine if the mistakes that are made are too much for you to be able to accept that person as a prophet or not. And if you don't, then, you know, that's your choice. Yeah. That's the beauty of the plan. Agency. Got to make your choices. And, you know, we're going to respect whatever you choose. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. that was mine. Okay. Uh... This next, uh, we're moving into like a new video. A bunch of, I, I assume these are all, all those comments were on that previous Angel Moroni and Angel Nephi video. Mm -hmm. And so this is a different video now. Uh, this is, is Jesus Jehovah? This is a recent episode that we did just in the last uh, month or so, last couple months. Why do Latter-day Saints believe that Jesus Christ is Jehovah? Some, somebody named Tom says, there is no who God, there's, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure how to read this one. Maybe we skip it? <laughs> there is no who. God is more like what... There is no who. God is more like what it might be. Mm. So I think what he's saying is God is not a person. God is a thing. Like a or an it. Or an it. Yeah. Which a lot of uh, people be I believe. I mean, we, we believe in a, a corporeal, embodied, perfected, glorified 
father in heaven, like someone yeah, that... Yeah, like a, like a person. Yeah, like we believe we look like him. I mean, obviously, we are the acorn to the oak tree that is God, you know, but... Um, Still created in his image. Right, and and there are a lot of different ways to read that. We we I mean we do take it literally, like we do believe you know God has two arms and two legs and a head. He's not some fifteen tentacled space alien Cthulhu. Thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or 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 the opposite, some non-entity, non-material. Something amorphous substance. Yeah. Um, mm. Interesting comment, though. Yeah. Is that a sub comment? To, is that a reply to? No, it doesn't look like it. It's like that. That was a Facebook comment. This one, next one, is YouTube. Hey, okay. It's, it's Bro D again. Oh yeah, yeah. We just read one from him. Okay, so Bro D says Jehovah is God, but LDS Latter Day Saints believe Jesus and God are two separate beings, and at the same time believe Jesus is Jehovah, so he isn't God, but is. Well. I'd say that we we would say that God is a title, not a a name. Not a name. So that's we, a good that's a good way to put it. So we do believe God the Father and God the Son are separate beings, but you can still share that title God. I think even run of the mill Christians could agree to 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 that 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 the title God can apply to. Anyways. Brother D, bless you. Thank you for commenting and joining our community. <laughs> Just comes back to the, the the Trinitarian doctrines that we that we don't embrace. Yes, but yes. Still respect. So. Yep. Eh. Okay. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this name correctly. This is from Jamik. Jam. Jamik. Jam- I don't know. As someone who was recently contacted by LDS and is genuinely curious in some pretty dense and unfortunately sometimes boring stuff. Cannot understate how awesome your usage of memes and references is. Whoever does the editing should get a raise, man. Great video. I like these these compliments. Thank you. This isn't the first time you've seen that. Actually, that one got 20 likes. That's pretty good for YouTube. Yes. But I love your reply. It's a pin this comment. And it got pinned. It did get pinned. Look at that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. From Jack. Um, he says that mic drop scene with Christ claiming the I am title actually got me to laugh. Good editing, guys. Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. That's another Taylor. Thank you. Thank you. Another Taylor shout out. I know this is this is getting a little embarrassing. Is this now. our last page? Yeah, it is. Yeah, we're actually going to make it like through all of our comments. This we time. can do this. Okay, Martin says, you never ever check Bible facts, Rube. I think he's calling you Rube. Because brainwashing Sundays dazzles you. You know, mm. what video was I this on? You, was you've this been, on Jehovah? David, you've been too dazzled by all those Sundays that uh, you've been brainwashed. And that's why you never check the Bible facts. I'm more curious about calling someone Rube. You know what? <laughs> Nice. I've been called a lot of things in these comment <laughs> sections, but Rube is a new one. Well, chalk that up. Uh, that's. I think it's so interesting, though. A lot of times people will be like, like, I'm not a scholar, right? But I do a lot of research on these topics. Yeah, these aren't just I... like thrown together in an yeah. afternoon. He takes weeks writing some of these scripts. Three weeks later. And I love it when people in the comments are just like, go do your research. This is wrong. It's just like in like two seconds, a two second comment, just like invalidating all of this research that I've done. And you're like, okay, like, did you do any research? (laughs) And that's the thing is I always leave the research in the YouTube description. There are links on links there that you can go through and and see exactly where I'm getting this stuff from. Yeah. And you come to your own conclusions. And the great part is like anytime you do like a a biblically oriented episode, you know, like the one on like Bible genres Mm -hmm. that we did where we talk about Jonah and the whale and even this one about, you know, whether or not Jesus is Jehovah. um, Anytime the subject is like heavily in the Bible, uh, 
there's actually a lot of resources that you cite that are non LDS, yeah. like, just like straight biblical scholarship. And people are still like, blah, 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 you're brainwashed. Yeah. Like, I actually thought the other day, what? there was this great non Latter-day Saint Bible scholar, a okay. believer named Pete Enns. Um, shout out to Pete. I pretend like I'm on a first name basis. I've never talked with Pete. Um, <laughs> and I thought, so he was, he, he was giving this discussion and, and, uh, and it was really rather, um, I loved it, but I thought, you know, if I took his speech word for word and put it in a faith and beliefs episode, I wonder how the comments would be different with like this non Latter Day Saint audience that he's presenting to versus me presenting on Saints Unscripted, because I I suspect this is an assumption, but I suspect that a lot of comments when these things are presented on mainstream Christian groups is just like okay yeah yeah we can get behind this, but then if it's a Latter Day Saint channel saying basically the exact same thing, everybody's like oh cult Joseph Smith and <laughs> met Satan and yeah. boo and it's just like <laughs> oh man it's coming from Bible scholars but right. anyway it's that's just... that's my rant. Yeah. Okay, Alfred says, just as I am about to not have a good day, David reminds me to have a good day at the end of every episode. You're a saint, David, the latter day kind. Oh, that's nice. I I, I did respond to that one. I remember that one. <laughs> nice. It's a good day. A great day. I really like that. Well, the, the thing is, is there's a reason why I add that. One... I thought it was cool because I saw it on another channel. <laughs> As the guy would say, have a good day. And if you get that reference, you'll think that's funny probably. Well, now I'm curious what the channel was. But it's um, uh, the LA Beast. Have a good day. <laughs> he does food challenges and stuff. It's like it's it's like terrible like, oh my video quality, but it's just it's kind of funny and good entertainment and, uh, though. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, but I, I I thought about adding you know have a great day at the end of these videos because I just wanted people to realize like no matter what subject we're talking about in that moment, like there's more to life. Yeah. You know, you're not out there to attack them either. Yeah, like, if you disagree, like, go have a great day anyways. Like, don't let this destroy you. I'm gonna destroy you. What's happening? I'm gonna destroy you. Seriously, back off! I'm gonna destroy, 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 destroy. I just, like, <laughs> this is just our perspective, but, like, it's more important to love people than to be right all the time. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully, I just want I to... Like that. You know, I remember, that. like, the transition from you saying it every now and then to saying it every episode. Because mm -hmm. we were filming and I made a comment. I'm like, you're saying that a lot these days. You're like, yeah, I just decided to start doing it. Anyways, mm -hmm. For some reason, I, I mean it. I remember that day. Okay. Last one. This comes from the episode uh, about Christ's second coming, the different phases. Papa Kryptos says, you could have, I, I think he says gone. You could mm -hmm. have gone for another five minutes, LOL. And uh, somebody said, I would happily watch these episodes at 20 to 30 minutes. Mm. And you know what? I kind of agree with them. I mean, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't be able to keep up with 20 to 30 minute episodes every week, but some of the subjects that we get into could take 20 to 30 minutes and we still might not even, you know, be done scratching the surface. But that's why we provide the links down in the description so you can continue doing your own research. And uh, we just kind of try to deliver the bite sized versions. Um, yeah, there have been a few that have been a little longer. And we've had a lot of great scholars on recently that we've just let talk, which has just been great. Oh, on They're, the main show? You on mean? the main show, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, okay, we got to wrap this up. Yeah. It's been a long, gone on long enough. That was fun. I, I always love reading these comments. Um, yeah, we love hearing from you guys. Mainly in these episodes, sometimes it's pretty depressing to get in the comment sections when I'm just like at my desk and it's just like, oh, you hate me. Oh. But, uh, but, keep, worst. but keep all those compliments on the editing coming, guys. I really appreciate those ones. He deserves it. <laughs> he does. All right. Thanks for commenting, everyone. Yeah. Keep it up. See ya. Have a great day. <laughs>